Hey, Mo, we need to get an intro down for this channel, you know. Yeah, but what are you thinking, Lee? Why don't I rap over the top of it? Don't be ridiculous. You sound like a northern m and Look, listen to me. Yo, yo, yo. The munch brunch in the hoose, man. Absolutely not. Right, what you got in mind? Let's just keep it simple. I'm Lee. I'm A. They wear the munch brunch. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to another mukbang with Aim Andy. We are the Munch Punch UK. We have nothing on the menu to Andy Ducky. You've got an empty tray. You're going to eat the dust. I hope there's no dust there, actually. Mind, this is really good, you know, if you want like a try from Asda, plastic one. Yep, we do not work for Asda, by the way, guys. Uh, actually, let's figure this out. Okay, we're going to get... Ooh, we're back. Yes, yeah, so we got a little bit organised here, guys. And as you can tell, also, my voice is coming back. It's not, I'm... It sounds terrible again, just... Well, like... it's better than it was. Right, guys, anyways, we have Chinese here. We want to show you in the containers first what we've got. Then we're going to pop off. Dish up because this ain't all for us. We have our daughter and mother in law in the house, yeah. and then we'll be back with the food. Okay, then. So, what we got, Aim Out? In this one, these favourite. Just give them a little, a little glimpse of what's in there. Ooh, chicken balls! And that comes with underneath that one. Um, This right here, guys, I'll just give you a quick gander. Is sweet and sour sauce. Probably the best one I've had. I've not had a lot, but this is really nice. Yeah. I'll be honest, I'm not a big fan of sweet and sour. No, she mm. isn't. Alright then. So. What's in that one? What is behind Wems. door number two? Not whams. Chicken chow mein. And that consists of onions and mm. beans. There's bits. onions in chicken chow mein. You never told me big that when you give me it in the past. Oh, you would. I've took them out. Alright, she's giving me it a couple Next times. One. It's quite tasty now, chow mein. I never realised. Let's move that over there. In here, this is mine and tears, I believe. I think well, everyone it's has everybody else. I don't know how everyone has this. It should just be mine. They have a lovely chicken curry. I can't tip no, it. Put in that no, it's just next to where to happen. These, no, I'll put you down in these. That's egg fried rice. Yep. And just boiled rice. In here is. Oops. Something on the try. I can't. Here we've got water chestnuts and, and bamboo, bamboo shoots. shoots. Lovely. And in this one is a big bag of chips. You know what a chip looks like if you don't. What the hell planet are you from? And then we've got prawn crack bowl. Prawn crackers, guys, over there. And oh, in our not. Chinese, you can get these singular. And they're the best ribs ever. Single spare rib. I, don't, I didn't have any sauce for these today. So we're going to dish up, guys. Oh, two cans of pop. Oh, yeah, we've got two cans of pop. We dish up and we'll be right back with you. Don't go anywhere. Stay. Stay right Sit. there. See you in like Stay. not even a second. <laughs> We're back, guys. Sorry about that. Camera malfunction. Aim and her uh, size 15 feet. Kick the camera. Only size 5. Yeah, she's got tiny feet, but she did manage to knock the camera with them little feet. So we're back. We've got our dinner on the go. Chicken balls, chicken curry, rice, chips, spare ribs, chicken balls, chow mein, egg fried rice, curry. Spare rib, I already said that one, eh? Um. Bamboo what? shoots and water chestnuts. That's the one. And, and Pepsi Max. We should get our salt on early because I was warned again today. How you doing, Linda Lancaster? You said, Lee, oh, that salt, you have an heart attack. I said, love, it's okay. It's the first salt I've had all day. So we'll, we'll get through it together, don't you worry. Funnily enough, I've never added salt to the Chinese. I, well, you have to eat chips, Simon. No, I don't think they ever need the it. The rice, the rice definitely needs it. I can't have rice out salt on. Ugh. We tried sea salt once, that was not sea salt, um, that low salt. I, I like that. Couldn't get my head around that stuff, guys, I've got to be honest. Here's the pot of sweet and sour sauce. Do you know, I wonder if you could put that in the fridge, because it's still a salt. We never, we never finish it, do we? It's an absolute stack, guys. Alright. What? It's all the way over there. What? The sauce. What about it? I can't reach. Oh, you want some? You never like it? I do. I'll just leave it over there and I'll have it. We need a little dish, ideally, to put some in for Amo. Um, anyway, there you go. We've got some shout outs, guys, before we get going because we said <coughs> two videos ago, not our last one, but two videos ago, if anyone's actually watching at the end, let us know. We want to know how many people watch all the way through. Yep. And quite a few of you do, surprisingly. So I'm going to give you some mentions. I did say I would do. Um, well done, you. Yep. Mr. Flutine's already had his one in our bolognese video because he got in there early. Yeah. So, uh, here we go, guys. We have Spence, mate. How are you doing, Spence, mate? Hello, Spence. Mm. 
He said, Lee, I watched all the way till the end, mate. Okay. We have. Sidra. Hey, Sidra. Hi, Sidra. One of our longest uh, viewers, she is, for so definitely. I'm one of the nicest. Mm, absolutely. Sandra Hughes, because it was the video where I said about um, how you meet people in 1958, and one of the things I said was take a European cycle on holiday. I forgot I said it, though. And Sandra met, commented and put at the last, end of the comment, okay, I'm off now to book my European cycling holiday. I thought, wow, that's pretty good. Are you into it? I actually wrote back to Sandra. Where are you going in Europe then, Sandra? What countries are you visiting? Seriously, genuinely meant it. She said, no, you, men you mentioned it in your video. That's how I've got to meet a blog. Like, oh, God, Sandra, you had me going there. Well, well done, you, Sandra, for signing to the end. Thank you yeah. so much. She said I wouldn't have made it through past the end of my driveway on my bike. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> Yvette. Oh, lovely Hello, event. Yvette. Made it all the way to the end. Thank you, baby. Um, who else we got on here? I don't want to miss anyone, so just give me a second or two. Um, Megan, I think you did. Yes, Hi, Megan. Megan. And if you didn't, then don't worry about it. She still laughed at the cucumber. Go to the back of your throat. Kaz, our uh, deputy nurse, Karen, in between saving lives, she's watching our Hello, videos. Hello, Karen. This girl is working hard. Yeah, big time. Uh, our lovely Nads and Claire. Hello, beautiful. Woo -woo. Moved into their flat today, I believe, or about to. Lily Beth, watched all the way to the end. Thank you, Lily. Thank you, honey. Um... Danny McKenzie. She once had a blow card in a loft. Well done. Hi, Danny. Uh, Fikiana. I think that's how you say it. That's how it's spelled. Fikiana. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you, babe. Says uh, Stutley. I was watching till then and I love you guys. <laughs> um, Danny Girl said chip butties, loads of butter and a cup of tea, one sugar. I'm guessing you just mean that's what you like for in general. Oh, because I said hot drinks with meals. I guess that's what you mean. Uh, Flutini, as we mentioned, watched all the way to the end. As always. And that is it for now, guys. If anyone else watches it, we will give you a mention on a further video. Thank you so much, everybody, though. Even if you don't make it to the end. Yeah. Oh, God, here he is. Here he is. You asked for this. I said to him. <clears throat> so, as many of you know, if you watch our Chinese before, I always have a slice of bread and butter with mine. I'm just going to give it a go. Lisa, it's to me. Why don't you give me a try? And I'm like, yeah, all right. All right. Oh, okay. If you say so. I mean... So what you do, are you put some chips in it? No. No, we got some chips in it and some You rice. never do that, Lee. Hey, every video I've done, I put chips in it. And then I put some rice in it. I mean, my rice is different, so you can nick some more rice if you want. Oh, I, I don't know about having egg fried rice in the, in the bread. No. But you do some boiled rice. Like that. Yeah. This is all, like, foreign to aim. So there you go. Rice, chips, and curry sauce. You fold it up, and you dunk it in your curry sauce. Uh, might need to That'll just nicks half my buddy curry over here. No, I only took a little bit of rice. Oh. I'll take my own chicken. Mmm. And then put chicken in it. Okay. Lee, you spat all over me. <laughs> Sorry. Lee, literally, you spat everywhere. Sorry, love. Oh well. Try with a piece of chicken. No, I don't want to. Alright, now. I'm trying to ruin things. Oh, That's just complicated when you put chicken in there. Look at that. Oh yeah. Curry sandwich. Well. Without the chicken. Let me know if I'll convert you by the end of the video. Can I just... I'm going to take the crust off. Oh my. What the fuck? Well these days she'll eat a sandwich as it's meant to be eaten. This isn't just on a video guys. She'll actually do it when she has a sandwich in general. I, I used to, when I got away, I was like, oh, well, here's a sandwich, or we'd go out and we'd, we'd buy a sandwich somewhere, or whatever. And she'd sit there, pulling bits off, and eat so like, what the hell are you doing? That's not how you eat a sandwich. It's how I eat a sandwich, Lee, now leave me be. Okay. Tell them what your taste buds are telling you, Ryan. Honest opinion. I can't taste the bread. I can just taste the curry. The only difference is the texture. I can taste a bit of like butter, because mm. there's butter on it. Yeah. But the bread to me adds nothing, because okay. the curry is such an overpowering flavour. 
You can't But be... do you ever taste bread when you have a sandwich, or do you just taste the inside of the bread usually? Yeah, you have a ham mustard sandwich, it's the inside, isn't it? You can taste it? bread, yeah. Well, they've got a different opinion. That one's really nice. Well, you tried it. It's That's not bad. It's, 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 if you like mm -hmm. bread. You tried it. That's the main thing, love. Love. In a minute, I'll do the same. I will try. I'm going to finish my rice chip. Look at that line. Oh. Guys, I forgot about this. I got some. Um, I came prepared and then I forgot about it. So, I said read a swear jar. So what we have here, I'll show him first. Oh, okay. Okay, so what we have here is the O. S I T. Yeah, it should be shit. Jar. Hashtag behave. The only problem is, I didn't bring any money in. So we can't even put any money in there. But well, we're all one step closer. Do you know what I'll do? Jar. Every time you swear, I'm going to put one of your chicken balls in there. How about hell no, love? Better than losing money. No, I'd rather lose money than a chicken ball. I'll pay for these. Cheeky sod. I will. Uh -uh. Well, in a minute, I will try a prawn cracker. I did try one once. Yeah, you liked it. Mm, I don't know where. But you've got a Mac of all okay now. What the hell are you on about? We're not visiting Mount Vesuvius. That's just what you have to do. Everybody knows about that. Remember that song back in the day? Um, we'll remember it. If you're a 90s kid, or an 80s kid, it's a song. It went a little bit like this. Everybody was kung fu fighting. Hoo, 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 ha. There was fast as lightning. The original was a lot older than that, I'm sure it was like... Yeah, there was a song from like the 80s or 70s, but then they did one, didn't they, with, um, like, in like the 90s, because I was in high school at the time when it came out. Yeah. Anyway, I had a lad, uh, I ain't met him once, uh, a mate called uh, Paul Taylor. Remember, you know how lads will be lads when they're young lads, and they'll go around and say, ah, oh, yeah, my dad built that wall. He never. It was built in Germany, like the Berlin Wall. He says his dad used to build it, whatever. You get my point? Like... You can't sit on that wall, no, because my dad owns it. Then why the hell's it outside my house, then you idiot? Point being, now, he once told us, and he had us all convinced, because he was all a bit naive, that his cousin was like the lead singer on that song. And we was convinced, like, wow, your cousin's well famous. Turns out his cousin worked at McDonald's. This was not true. We had us going on for like yeah, about a year. Why? No, no. We felt the need to do it, I guess. Not like, um, serial and killers, um, you know, when there's a murder and stuff. There's some weirdos out there who don't do the murders, but they actually, like, get off on ringing up the police and saying, I did it, I've got all the details, yes, I did it with the candlestick in the, uh, ex in the office, and it was on Sunday night during Taggart. And they do, the crazy people. Taggart, guys. <clears throat> was a police program and like a detective program. Yeah, if you've ever seen Alex Ferguson, he looks a bit like Alex Ferguson, the bloke who played Taggart. <laughs> mm. He's guilty of that, though. What? Killing people? No. Climbing when I we did first it. met him in um, Blackpool, <laughs> told me he was into tennis. No, dude, that was a swimmer. Oh, well, yeah, that was him. I never had the most athletic build, guys. I'm a swimmer. I've got to be honest, these are soft few chips here, people. Hey. So... Lee, what's happened? What? You know, when you put the bag there, you went Oh, it's just the dark. dark, I know, it's just the light. I apologise. <laughs> so, well, I looked at a picture the other day. It must have been... I think it's at my mum's or somewhere. It was before me and I got together, or when we got together like, early on. I was like, Christ, damn, there's like two of me in this body now. I was like half this size before. What the hell's happened to me? So, the point being now... Um, what's the point? Yeah, so I didn't have the most athletic build anyway. So I was skinny, but I didn't, I'd never, I've only ever been to the gym a couple of times at that point. My arms are like twigs. They still are now, I guess, but I was a lot smaller in terms of muscle and fat. Anyways, I met Aim and I was yeah. like, it's alright, love. I said, look, you know, I'm busy on the weekend. I go, I go swimming like... I'm training for the Olympics, or so some shit I come out with. I can't remember exactly what I said, but I remember saying I got swimming. Oh, I was off to work the one morning. I'll tell you who it went. It was in my bedroom. And they was like, yeah. 
I'm going, I'm, I'm a swimmer. Like, I do that, I'm, I'm gonna make it professional. I was like, all oh, right. <laughs> now, for Lee, I was with a military fitness guy. He's an instructor. Um, so that was my last relationship before Lee. And he was slightly older than me. I don't get it, because I, I just believe what people tell me in the respect that, okay, that's what you do. And he's like, okay, and then he's like, oh, by the way, I, I did kind of bullshit you about this minute. Well, <laughs> it works both ways, though, I mean, when me and I first started speaking and seeing each other, like, after we met up in Blackpool, it wasn't like instantaneous get married and move in together, nothing like that. We'd talk for a while, we'd meet up and stuff, but I remember one day I was on the phone to him. Oh, Lee, I'm, what off, are you I'm off for a shower, Lee. Oh, are you off for a shower? And yeah. Okay, no worries. He's like, wow. I used to finish work at 10. Call her after 10. Try ringing her up. Then we work properly together, anything like that. What are you up to? I'm just going for a shower. Okay, I'll ring in a bit. I thought, oh, I'll just give her a ring. I don't even know why I tried to ring her whilst I thought she'd be in the shower. This was a week after we met, Lee. You, was... you weren't in the shower, was you, I? You used to talk to another bloke still from your past. Not like that, though. Well, how do you not talk to like that? It's called friends. <laughs> yeah, don't you need to add two more words on that with benefits? No, that was still before, though. And if any of you have been there, like, when me and I did get together for the first, like, six months, like, the amount of lads getting in touch with like, every week. It was always on a weekend, fun enough, when they had nothing else to do. You know, they got their nights themselves. Give him a bell. I was like, who's this now? Oh, it sounds so. How do you know him? Oh, it's just a friend. Like, from the past, obviously. But none of these friends knew how to piss off, did they? Now You're being back. really sexist right now for me. Oh, am I? Because, you know, yes, I did have a life before you. Mm hmm But. And that life kept ringing you up every Friday night. No. One of them did. And do my buddy head him. Then with the nutter who aim started going to. What was you doing now? Training to be uh, in the makeup or something like that. And there was a lad there. So I figured that's a lad who does makeup. Good chance, you know, he's not straight. I don't know if that sounds wrong. But if he's doing makeup with girls and stuff, I figured he was probably uh, gay. Aims at no. mine. Wow. Straight men. Yes, can do makeup. I'm not them. saying they can't. I'm not saying they shouldn't. I just assumed, wrongly or rightly, that he was probably gay. So I didn't have an issue with it. Anyways, I was work training with him and stuff, and I come up to mine, to my mum's, and then he's ringing her up and going crackers, and being a bit of a knob. No. And then he come around your mum. That's when I worked at Mercedes. No, it was the lad who you said, I forget his name now, he did Mark. makeup. Yeah, he was a makeup lad. No. That was when I worked at Mercedes. And my dad had to go out and run to him. I remember it. That was when I lived down here and we worked at Mercedes. What was that one then? You was trying your name at the cot at a Oh, yes. Syndrome. Sorry. Yeah, I've seen no. that many. She forgets. It's not lovely, you really. No, you weren't seeing him. You were seeing me at the time. We've been together a few months. But he was a bit of a nut job. Oh, my God. He caused a lot of trouble, didn't he, for your mm. dad? Some nutcases. Hmm? But I wasn't seeing any... Like, please explain. She wasn't seeing this lad. He was just had a bit of a thing for him. And he come round the house. Bang, 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 bang. Uh, is Amy in? And she's like, who hey, the fuck like, are you? My dad is very... He, like, with men. Like, when he first met Lee, didn't he give you kind of like... Uh, Hello, who the fuck are you? And Welcome. The, mm -hmm. And then the second weekend... I used to go around, because I'd come here a lot more than I would come to me. Not in, that's no. not true. She'd come to my mum's a lot more than I'd come in. But the second week, and I came here, and it was early. I used to set off early. And I was oh. like, what the hell are you getting here at 8 o'clock for? Yeah, like, I have to get up at, like, normally 5 in the bloody day. Because the thing was, I used to come to mine on a Friday night after she'd finished work, and I'd still be at work till 10. Well, I couldn't, because I was working Fridays till 10. If I was coming here, I couldn't get here till the Saturday. So I say, okay, that's fine. I'll leave Monday morning and get home in time for work at half two, two, two o'clock. Well, I'll set off Saturday morning. So I'll be on the R5 train. Get here for half seven, half seven. Oh, my, oh my gosh. Knock, knock, you're fine. 
still in fucking bed. Leave it open. Uh, I'm not losing the port ball. What you, you dare! God, woman! You're not going to do it, are you? You're only going to put the money back in your wallet all, Lee. Mm. No, maybe there's some money. I'll go in there. You'll pay for a try for Well. Anyway. So that's our what, money. So that's what was happening. And I'd get here early and whatnot. And then this um, this lad was knocking and Steve was like, oh no, the second no, weekend I, I come say, through. Come on, tell the story. So Steve was there because he was off on that Saturday. He used to work Saturdays. He was there this Saturday. And he, uh, uh, he's in the garden or something. He, he comes did that in. on purpose, you know. I don't know. Because my mum, well, my mum told him the night before, um, Amy's boyfriend is staying up tomorrow night. And he's like, well, I was out the way. I was like, mum, will you tell him? Yeah. I, mean, I was 21, for God's sake, but I used to keep my life outside the house. Yeah, a lot of dogging. <laughs> That's not true. At all, I don't think. All the only dogs I like are the ones that are living in my house. No. And anyway, um, so my mum had, my mum was cleaning my bedroom in my auntie, for God's sake. Down at my, my house, is, my mum's house is immaculate, and she got my auntie round to start cleaning the house as with her. I was like, mum, I can do my own room. So anyway, then... I was still in bed, and then my dad took the day off work purposely to yeah. meet me. Well, I didn't come down to I was like, open mm. the door, and she was like, literally going back up to bed. I was like, I'm, what do you mean to do? I've been up for like three hours. I'm wide awake. Come I was on. Like, come on. Come. Let's go and do something. <laughs> I was like, I'm going back to bed. I hadn't eaten at that point. I was starved. I've been up since like five, off, about five o'clock. Mm. And your dad, like, your dad was there, like, Amy, don't be rude. Make me something to eat. So you don't make me spaghetti on toast. No, my dad made you beans on toast. No, you made me spaghetti on toast. But then my dad had a word with me. Mm, yeah. But all was good. Never had a problem. Well, usually never. But this lad comes around names anyway. He starts causing no, a bother. No, I'll tell him what my dad was like with you. Know, I was like, don't uh, Oh, yeah. I had all the, you know, behave yourself conversations. And if you do anything stupid, I'll, I'll, uh, kill I'll have you cut up into pieces and uh, sent off to Greece. Well, that's what I feel. Just the usual. Problem was, hmm, I didn't realise at the time that certain accents could be so different. So Ames' oh. accent ain't that strong. You lot might think it is. Uh, well, I guess when I met her, it was a bit strong. But after a few weeks, it just all becomes the norm. But for somebody from Wolverhampton, it's not that strong. Mm -mm. And Ames' dad is from a place called Bilston, which is sort of Wolverhampton, ain't it? It is. But like on the outskirts or whatever. And the accent's so different, so guys. The accent is so different. And I was struggling to understand a lot of what he said back then. I still struggle now, I'm not going to oh, lie. Well. Sometimes you are like, what's that, sorry, Steve? What are no, you just saying, mate? I couldn't understand him, really. Yeah, you need, like, um, a translator. Yeah. But this lad come around. Started causing bother. And Seagulls. Yeah, and then the seagulls come and add a chat. No, as in that's what you're looking at. And then Ames' dad was like, I have a niece. And then I wouldn't knock... leave. will not go. I kept knocking at the door. Wouldn't it know for an answer? Ames was at mine. He's like 100 and odd miles away. My mum found me. She was like, I'm here. Somebody's knocking at the door. Mm -hmm. Someone's ringing my bell. So and I was phoning this lad. like, what are you doing? What are you doing? I want to speak to you now. I was like, why? I love you. So Steve, the guy's like cars out the front, the lad's in the porch. Steve goes out the back door, down <laughs> down the side of the house like there's like an entrance way. The lad doesn't see him coming, gets a brick, puts his straight through a spade, sorry, smashes the window on the car. Oh, the lad soon went. And on that street, I mean I used to think it was a bit rough, it wasn't. It was just compared to where I lived, it was a bit rowdy. <laughs> so no one on it's the street like, said a word. So imagine like you know, kind of Personal a call de sac is. This street is like that. Everybody's into each other's business. The one day I got in from work, because when I first moved here, I was working for Nat West uh, in Birmingham at Brindley Place, which is where we're off to um, in September, hopefully. Not to Nat West, but to Brindley Place that oh. <laughs> You just shut down now, I know that one. But, I, yeah, that all them offices are shut now, mm. or something else. So I was working there. Come back the one day about half four or five. Heard this screaming, shouting on the show. What the hell's going on? Look out the bathroom window. 
Who was only a bloke chasing another bloke down the street with um, I can't, he had either a machete in his hand or a bloody um, some sort something a big uh, what the hell machete. Did he? Machete. That'd have been it. Just chasing down the street and the bloke who was doing the chasing. I found out later on he was just a nice normal bloke, quiet as a mouse. Never hear a word from him. But that day he was ready to kill this other bloke. Well, what have I moved into here? <laughs> in your old next door neighbours. Oh yeah, there was mm. quite. All sorts of stuff went on down there, though. Didn't have like there's a pub right down the bottom. <laughs> Which got a bit lively. Big time. Mm -hmm. The landlord got shot once, two or three <laughs> times. We were packed in a really bad picture. And this sure. is a decent area as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's a lot worse than this. Yeah. And mum was the gang leader. <laughs> Brim was terrible. But imagine like Don Corleone. Well, it was like. Don Brenio. Yeah. <laughs> That's so. funny. My mum got so sad I wouldn't mess with her now. That's the only one person my dad's scared of. Yeah. Woo. My dad don't give a damn. Uh, you don't care where you are I either. I don't know, he's pretty scared of Quint. Oh, well, everyone's scared of Quint, bless him. <laughs> I mean, when my you... My dad loves Quint. The people who come to meet us in September, you're going to meet Quinton and Donna. Aim's ex and our friend. When you look at Quint and you look at Anne, you like, are you sure you two are together? Does there such a big size difference? Anne's like five foot two, five foot three. Quint's probably about my height. I think we're about the same height. But in t he looks taller because he's more broad. So he looks like a much... When you stand me and him next to each other, yeah, Quint looks a lot bigger. But yeah, it's just one of them ones. It's an odd combination if, you, if you're not used to it. So I was like, you got, oh no, when I first met Quint. So... He's coming to pick up Tia. He used to come every Saturday morning, pick her up and take her for the weekend. I was like, all right, I'll go and meet him. I'll go on to the door. No, no, you can't. What the hell's he going to do? Oh, I didn't want to fight with her, but I didn't think he was going to have a go at me. He wouldn't have a go. He was nice as pie. I mean, couldn't go on from day one. Yeah. But I opened the door, I was like, wow, you're a big bloke. <laughs> I was like, went back, he's like, yeah, he's a bit big in the aim. I hope me and him don't get into no fisticuffs at any point. I oh, know that reindeer, one of the big names, let's say. I'm not going to say who it is, but he went to me once. He went, fuck would I mess with him? Right. in the jail. Mm. But he's a gentle joy. He's, cool. he's lovely. Yeah, he's like... And Don and the both lovely. He's definitely one of the nice giants in BFG. Well, there's only one nice one. He is the big friend of the giant. He's lovely. Mm. Oh. And Donna, what an amazing couple. Mm -hmm. They're like perfect together. Hell yeah. So. Have a lot of them offices now in Brindley Place? Um. I don't know why that's shut down. I don't know, probably because I left. I was the one keeping it open. It was open a long time after you, wasn't oh, it? I know it was. But when we went last time, when we stayed. I remember you said last it, was year, shut. it was all shut down. There's a lot Something of places that shut down. With the COVID that went there. Oh yeah, but this is shut down way far. But it used to look a huge office building. I mean, I went from Lancaster, where I'm from. <laughs> Lee had a bit of a shock when he first came to Birmingham, didn't you, Lee? Yeah, I went with him. I think, yeah, I think Joan took us or on the train. I think we went on the train. Mm. I ran around loads of places. My uh, What I did was work in a conference centre. They had a huge one in Birmingham. Like, the it, biggest one? Yeah. But International Conference Centre. They're not connected, like they don't work with each other, so I couldn't exactly get a transfer there. I just applied there and there's like no, so there's no vacancies. So I ran up everywhere and online. Got in touch with NatWest, didn't think a thing of it. I thought, I don't know the first thing banking, give it a go. Got a call back, phone interview. Can you come into Birmingham for an interview? I was like, wow, yeah. Didn't think I'd get it. And then we had to. I mean, Aim took me the first day because she had a rough idea where it was, the offices. Got there, no problem. After that, my first day at work there, I was like, how the hell am I going to find that place in <laughs> Birmingham? And I was, for like the first three weeks, I was going to uh, New Street Station, then onto one called Five, Five Ways? Yeah. Yeah, Five Ways Station, which is like way further down the line. I was like, yeah, this is the way. Was it, it was Street? No. No, it's used to call five ways. Bear in mind, Birmingham is the second biggest city in the UK to London. It's not exactly. I was going way out of where I needed to go just to get to work. It's not. Mm. It's not far. 
No, no, it isn't now. <laughs> but it's not really well, that. Well, that's the first time that he's like, mm. for all these buildings. <laughs> yeah, everyone was like really well dressed where I worked. And I walked in like, feeling like a right tool. <laughs> he was just like, it's all right, baby. Yeah. Go high, that is. Crazy. But before I moved, whilst I had my other job, I got a, I took a loan out for me and I. For no other reason other than we wanted to blow it. We got like 10 grand or something like that. So after I got the job at Nat West, I think it was the same day I had the interview. We went around Birmingham that day. I've never done it ever since. Couldn't afford to do it ever since. We um, have. We've had not over about eight or nine grand in one day we have. We've got so much shit we didn't need, guys. That, what, what about the time when, well, that was when you had your Argos card, wasn't it? And we went and oh, bought the pool yeah. and blew up the bin. <laughs> yeah, set fire to the bin, nearly burnt down the shed, bought a pool, that took all day. And then it went down before we even got in the buddy. Yeah, we didn't actually get in it. I did. Well, you did. Well, then, I don't know. After that, it ended up with a puncher in the side. Um, what else happened with that one? Barbecue, yeah. It is a disaster. We must have spent 300 quid at Argos on all these things for one afternoon of me and I in the back garden. That's what I realised. And don't do things cheap. <laughs> Good memories. Mm. Expensive memories, Mark. You learn a lot, Mark, don't you? Well, you have to, don't you? Like if we could go back now, Live the money alone. we could have saved. Yeah. Ridiculous. Mm. Anyone mm. who has been saving over the years, if like you're younger, maybe our age now, fair play to you for saving up. Like for the last 10 years, because it's the right way to do it. If you're young now and watching this, save up. If you've got a £1,000 wages, and after you pay your bills, your car, or whatever, your phone, and you've paid your mum and dad a bit of rent, or whatever it might be you've got to pay, if you've got a few hundred quid change, just put 30 quid away, put 50 quid away, you'll be grateful in 10 years' time. My mum and dad only started to charge me rent when you moved in. They didn't charge you. They used to is. charge me £200 a buddy month. They charged me £30 a week. Oh, wow. 200 for me, 120 for you and Tia. That's really fair. That's bloody criminal. That's what it was. Then I'd come back thinking, okay, my dinner will be on the table. It wasn't half, all, half the time I on the cooked. table. Oh, and I'd be told, Lee, can you now over the stairs? Like, <laughs> I've been at work for the last nine hours. How can you get up home and do it whilst you had your day off? I cooked for us. Uh -oh. Oh God, what a sight! No, I didn't mean to. I hope no one was watching that point. Mm. It took me so long today to get over my hangover from last night. Oh dear. Yeah. It's not as out. I mean, we didn't drink for long. Mm. We didn't start drinking till like 10 o'clock last night, guys. And we was done by about 1. So in like 3 hours, I had about 7 cans. Maybe that's why I ended up, I well, didn't feel drunk, I just felt proper hungover today. Maybe if I took my time a bit more last night, it would have been easier. So tonight I'm cutting it down. It's ready now. Oh no, I'm just cutting it down. I you spat again. I didn't spat again. You went all the way over that way this time, Lee. They call it gleeking, don't they? I don't call it anything. <laughs> I call it an accident. <laughs> you done? I'm done, are you done? I am. You've left half yours. I'm all over this later on, guys. No <laughs> food in this house gets wasted when it comes to Chinese. I love Chinese. It'll be put on a plate, all this lot, and some more over here, some rice, and a bit of curry, and she'll warm it up afterwards. Chinese twice in a day. Because I have what <clears throat> I don't like to, you know, I like some people I pile their plate up. I like to have what most, you know, you, what you'd have on a meal, mm. and then save it for later, but even this. Too much. I think it's because of how big the I think it's because you had the bread out that's done you, Nancy. The bread <laughs> done. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. We hope you're having a lovely day. What day ever this is going out, I don't know. And Take it easy. Yeah. So Take remember to be kind, remember to be nice, comment, share, like, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any more videos. And Thank our you. community tab. Yes, which I never post to, I also get guys... But I don't know why I'll say them. You don't want to miss it in case the one day I do post to it, it's something amazing. Exactly. Yeah, do it for now, said. Thumbs up, subscribe. See like, you like. later, guys. Love you. Bye. Take it easy. Bye.